In this video, we are gonna unbox a Fender bass amplifier, and we're gonna see how this amplifier performs with a keyboard playing through it. Let's get at it. I'm not gonna lie, one of the first reasons why I purchased this amplifier is because it was so light. Even in the box, it only weighs 19 pounds. I was looking for a small keyboard practice amplifier. I could not find a keyboard amplifier, so my second choice was a bass amplifier. So let's get this thing unboxed. Here's the top of the Fender Rumble. Moving left to right, we have the input. Then we have the overdrive section. I probably won't be using that. We have uh, the equalizer section, which is four knobs and then the master volume. This is a California warning if you want to check out that website. I will not be going to that website. And this is the same label that goes on top of all the rumble amplifiers. And since ours is the Rumble 40, we can go to the appropriate side of the sticker and you can see all the criteria that fit this amplifier. I wanted at least a 10 inch speaker for my practice amplifier, but the portability and the weight is really what sold me on the Rumble 40. All right, we're gonna plug this thing in and play a couple different keyboard sounds through it, see how it sounds. Just gonna make a couple adjustments here. For this video, we're gonna be playing the Roland Phantom. There'll be a link to this keyboard in the description of this video. And we're gonna start with the piano sound. I think this Fender Rumble is going to be a nice little practice amp for the house. Please leave a comment and let me know what kind of amplifier you're using these days. If this video was helpful, please consider sharing, leaving a comment, or subscribing to our channel.
and we will catch you next time.